deal with Novartis, the Indian listed arm of British pharma giant GSK, is now working on building an aggressive pipeline. Speaking exclusively to our very own Priya Seth, uh, Andrew Aris Sathidu, the CFO and ED Finance of GSK Pharma, speaks about the new launches and why GSK Pharma is in no rush to delist in India. We're having a new vaccine launched uh, this year. We're looking at the diabetes franchise. And we're also looking at uh, business development opportunities with either local companies or, or foreign companies. So in totality, we expect to launch six to seven new products over the next two to three years. There have been some reports suggesting that uh, with SEBI, uh, you know, easing off uh, delisting norms, there could be a possible uh, delisting that you all are considering. Is that something in the pipeline? Where does that stand? We do see having a listed status as a contribution towards a multinational being a local player in India. Uh, we've been in the country since 1920. We have a formidable board, and I think the listed status attracts the, the greatness of that board. And it's great to have a board who stress tests the, deci the decisions we're making, make sure that we keep compliant with the, the, with the laws of the land. So at this stage, we are content with our 75% group holding and the 25% minority. But do you think at some point in time you would consider a possible deal listing? Uh, we're well, not at this stage. Um, at this stage, we're content with our 75%. The, if you look at analogs of delisting, they are very expensive. Uh, the, price is the, the price is set by the, by the minority shareholder. Okay, on that note, it's time for a very short break. When we